Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your week has been good, you know, not too stressful um, or whatnot. So today's video is going to be about Ipsy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too excited, but that can change. We'll see. I'm gonna dig in. This is the bag this month. It's nice. It's not my favorite, so that's that all you that's the theme the way we see it november is a time to reflect on what matters most for us what matters most is you let me start off with this 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 was outside the the glam bag but inside the envelope this is from crown brush this is the c141 chisel blush oh is it for blush i thought it was for bronzer this is this is how it looks like this is the brush I wouldn't normally use this for blush I don't know I've been really enjoying using a stippling brush for blush so I think I'm just gonna bronze with this I'm going to use Marc Jacobs tantric 102 tantric bronzer I feel like I'm about to hit pan soon and I've had this for a while, so it's like only a matter of time. I should probably buy full size, right? Oh my god, I just did. And I just said that. I just said I was going to hit pan. And look. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Time to buy another one. It just got real. Things just got real. Alright. Um. <laughs> I actually like this for, for bronzing. It's not picking up a lot of product and putting it on my face. I mean, I am, you know, tapping it on the package. But even doing that sometimes, uh, a lot of product is still on the, the brush itself. I actually really like this. Um, I don't know how it's looking on camera, but it's really nice. Like it's not it's not applying it too heavy. I'm really liking this. All right, look at look at my my pan. <laughs> I mean, it's still quite a lot of product left but definitely have to purchase a full size so far so good so far so good um i'm going to apply blush and highlights off camera and i'll be right back next is ooh, a colourpop pressed eyeshadow this is in uh, paper tiger um i have this one already i'm going to leave this one in the packaging and i'll just get mine i have it encased in this box right here here's yeah these i believe are all permanent like i bought this when they first released the pressed eyeshadows so this is definitely like one of their og colors i would say but yeah this is paper tiger right here i guess i'll be using mine um i don't know i may or may not keep this I really like, I really, really, really enjoy the color. So, so yeah, they do have a lot of fallout, kind of like the Anastasia eyeshadows. Uh, but for the most part, they're great in pigment. They last a long time. They're not hard. They're not hard to work with. I enjoy ColourPop eyeshadows. I already put my uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use this palette as well. It's from ColourPop. It's the Yes Please palette. I'm just going to use a light shade. Just to put all over my lid. So yeah. Now I'm just going in with a light transition slash crease shade. You guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot to zoom you in. So... I'm going to apply Paper Tiger. I, oh, I forgot to show you guys at least a finger swatch, right? Just a couple. 
color. That's the color. Can't really notice it on my skin, but it's there. It's there. <laughs> uh, but yeah. just the eyeshadow on my eyes as you can see it's not dramatically pigmented so you really don't need to be scared of this color <laughs> I'm gonna take the same color I used for my crease not crease uh, for my base to so just highlight my brow bone I'm taking this color that I have next to paper tiger I'm just gonna use that as my highlight Ooh, look at that so pretty. I'm putting it a little bit underneath my brow, my brow bone where it arches. Just to highlight. I'm taking this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Best O. I'm bringing it out just a tad at the ends to give it a semi winged look. Next in my Ipsy bag is Dare Real Mascara from Benefits. I have this in a full size already, but I don't want to open it yet because I have so many mascaras open that I don't like opening so many mascaras at the same time because they'll dry out. I'm going to do what I did in my last video. I'm going to use this on its own on my left side and then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer on my left side, right? Did I call this my left side? Oh gosh. This is going to be on my right side and the lash primer with the Dare Real Mascara will be on my left side. This is the mascara. In case you've never seen this before, this is the, the wand. I like it because it has like the spikes in the end coming up. It just makes it easier to uh, reach the lashes on the uh, corners, the edges. That's pretty much one coat with the mascara on its own. I'm going to apply the primer on my left side. And this is with the, the Urban Decay Primer. And as you can see, there's definitely more volume and the mascara actually looks darker on this side than it does on this side. <laughs> I'm going to apply a second coat on this side, see if I can even that out. I'm just going to apply it on my bottom lashes. I like it, just not for my bottom lashes. <laughs> Next I have is from Codage Paris, Codage, Codage, I think it's Codage. This is a scrubbing cream. The scrubbing cream is a rich and soothing emulsion made from fine organic rice particles which enables optimal facial exfoliation. It has shea butter and pro-vitamin B5. It respects even the most sensitive skin types eliminates impurities and dead skin cells while stimulating elasticity and cellular renewal. I'm supposed to apply this on dry skin working in circular motions and then I add water little by little I guess yeah and then I rinse thoroughly to be used one or two times a week mm, put a little more. all right so I'm gonna put on my hands oh I guess on my nose <laughs> Um, oh, the little exfoliators feel really nice. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's taking off. <laughs> I forgot I had the eyeshadow on here. I was wondering, I was like, why is it turning yellow? <laughs> as far as I can tell and feel in the back of my hands, the uh, exfoliators isn't too gritty. You know, like it's not going to scratch your face or anything like that. It's not rough. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, feels really nice. The cream feels really nice as well, so... 
I'm excited to try that. Feels good. And last product is CB. Ah, Clocks Botanicals Deep Moisture Mask. Ooh, I have another face mask. It's supposed to be a deep moisturizing mask to calm, soothe, soften, and shut down redness. Oh, and you can leave it on overnight. Mmm. -hmm. Smells good. And apply it where I just exfoliated. Oh, yeah. It feels pretty, say, pretty thick cream. Ooh. Oh, it has lavender, yeah. You can smell lavender in it. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a nice, calming scent, you know? I'm excited to try that as well. Okay, guys, that is it for my November Ipsy unbagging. <laughs> Glam bag unbagging. I hope you guys enjoyed this unbagging. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Or a great week. I don't know, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Sephora Play and Ipsy has been pretty similar. The fast, the fast few months. <laughs> no. Uh, this is a cream. This is. Okay. Um. All right.